What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. We're looking at another episode of Starfield's new expansion, Shattered Space. If you guys missed that last episode, you guys know what to do. Check out that link here on the top right corner of your screens. This is where we started off last time. You can continue on and see what happens next. So without further ado, you guys know what to do. Pop that popcorn, throw your hands up in the air, do whatever you need to do. Do whatever you need to do. Get comfortable. Let's get this tour going. And uh, if you're new here, of course, subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon to not miss out on any new future videos in the future. So let's go ahead. Let's do it again. Let's go. intent to be unreasonable the whole time? I thought this was a negotiation. We're having a friendly chat, aren't we? It's not my fault you don't find my offers acceptable. Nah, just the person I wanted to see. Please tell me you bring good news. And I'm going to enjoy every minute of it. Razma, who is this? You allow any commoner to just waltz in on official business. I'd expect better security from Chaos Kadik. <laughs> this is hardly official business. Yes. And now these so-called negotiations are over. Over? You would risk everything after the whispers of a stranger. I demand to know who this is. Three Star Rangers have no power here. Only a complete fool would expect me to believe this. It's true, Mihail. And if you don't leave now, peacefully, I'll make sure your ships and Shadow Station Epsilon are made dust. You... How did you... You're bluffing. Test me. You think a genius mind like mine wouldn't find a way to hack into every system in your base? This remote device will launch a virus that will detonate systems within Epsilon, and reach your ships as well. You realize how this may affect future partnerships, Razma? You would jeopardize our connections. It jeopardizes nothing. It merely restores the natural order. The natural order? I could take you all out here and now. You know every one of us is prepared to answer the Serpent's call. You're so willing to sacrifice your allies at Shadow Station Epsilon? You don't think they're as prepared as we are? We all answer the call, and if that day is today, so be it. Let's get this over with. Yes. 
the spoils of victory. Hopefully they amount to something. I'm not sure what I was expecting, but it yeah, wasn't I suppose that. I should have expected this. Negotiating with zealots? Hal's Kadik is in your debt. As am I. I owe you my life. Sahima, you are a part of this house. I... I know. I just wanted to say thank you. Personally. And here, it's the research and algorithm the High Council wants. I'm sure they'll appreciate it more coming from you. Oh, I am. Very. I just don't think the High Council is ready for the series of I told you so's that I would surely inundate them with. Plus, I think I'll wait until after they've proven out my theories to approach them on that topic. I'm going to head back home now to check on the others, but maybe come find me later? Great. You can find me at the Great House whenever you get the chance. We'll talk later, Sahima. <laughs> As I was saying, Hal's Kadik is in your debt. You've helped me maintain a very precarious balance. And one day it will. But until then, they're a necessary evil. One that we'll be keeping a much closer eye on. I'd appreciate it if you kept this a secret. Huh. If you're referring to the members of House Kadik, the others involved know better than to speak of this. As much as it disappoints me, I can't say I'm surprised. Jumal's never cared for our view with the Zealots, and she has no love for those taken. But this is what makes her an excellent mediary. You and the rest of our house. Now, I have much to do, and so do you. Ekris and the High Council will be expecting you. We have nothing to discuss here. I'll see you back in Dasara. You've served House Kadik well today. Until next time. Understand. I saw Anasco. Took measure of his burdens. Ah, were you able to find Sahima? Perfect. I have no doubt Sahima's work is the key to stabilizing the morning device. If only the others had listened to her, we may not have lost so much of our great city. This leaves houses Dulkef and Vathol. Politics can wait. Every moment we delay, Anasco descends further into the void. For the last time, faith will not remove the barrier. Science will. It is the hubris of science that failed you in this moment. We reached out to the Great Serpent. This is his reply. You claim he has forsaken us? I do no such thing. The Great Serpent's reply is not an answer, but a question. Are we worthy of his grace? Until that is proven, 
Your works will not succeed. If that was all... I will forgive you for not knowing our customs, but I will not tolerate such blasphemy. But the proof is not in our words. It is in the vision. Anasco's presence still persists in this world, and he seeks our aid. Eh, <sighs> fine. I feel like I've lived this argument a thousand times, and the only way to move past it is to concede to its nonsense. Harbinger, speak to my sister. Agree to her fool's errand so that we may continue the work of saving this city. Time is short, Harbinger. I have seen visions of Anasco searching for one bold enough to enter the heart of the Vortex. And now that you are here, I know your arrival was no accident, but rather providence. Well put. The Great Serpent's works are imperceptible, even to a herald like myself. But rest assured, all will be revealed when you journey north. At the edge of the crater, you will find a cave carved by the anomaly. There, you will make contact with a Nasco Varun. It is as the Great Serpent foretold. In my visions, I witnessed two futures. In the first, you breached the scaled citadel, but found Anasco had sunk too far into the void. And in time, all of Dazra was consumed along with him. It was not his will, but a warning. In the second future, I saw you make contact with Anasco, entering a cave through a formless wall. At its terminus was a gate, a path into the realm where our speaker resides. You stepped into this void, and in that moment, something changed. The false future rewritten. Uh, roughly speaking, it could be that entering the Vortex directly would allow you to speak with him. And while my readings do not show any anomalous activity, I admit there's a lot of interference. Still, that only emphasizes the potential danger involved here. I cannot approve of such an excursion on the minute chance Anasco is present. The closer one ventures to the heart of the anomaly, the closer they are to the phantoms and horrors that lie within. Moreover, if this cave was cut open by the Calamity itself, then it is an unnatural formation and highly unstable. I am no heretic, but to risk so much on a vision... <laughs> it is a leap of faith I cannot condone. I will not stand in your way, however as Inaza has stood in ours. You may not realize it now, dear brother, but our goals are one and the same. Then you must embark to the northern edge of the crater. You will find an entrance there, one that has no form. Step through it, 
find Anasco and complete the vision. Only then will his voice be heard.
I have things I wish to discuss with you. When you have time. I have been curious. I know that your role in Constellation was thrust upon you in an unusual way. But that experience does not demand that you stay. You could have delivered the artifact and then left. Why do you stay? Yes, the idea of what they might represent has been motivating for many of the members. This is, after all, what Constellation is for. My past is complicated. And anyone in Constellation will tell you I do not speak much of it. But my family always stressed the importance of having a purpose in life. You must have a reason for being. Yes, that is one way of putting it. I am often surprised at how reluctant some are to agree with the idea. They sometimes seem offended I would suggest such a thing. When I first came to New Atlantis, I was shocked at how many people go about their business every day like drones. They do their jobs, eat their food, sleep in their beds, all seemingly without concern for anything around them. Complacent. Their experience is so different from much of the settled systems. They do not know how good they have it. You believe I am too quick to judge. Perhaps that is so. Purpose cuts through adversity. I know that all too well. And these people seem to have no idea. I have. There have been times where I wondered whether it was worth it. My family is unique within the settled systems. I grew up outside the bounds of the United Colonies, or the Free Star Collective. My parents, and their parents before them, did not believe anyone outside our family could be trusted or relied upon. You can imagine, I am sure, how existence without ties to others is challenging in space. It has certainly proven valuable. Saved me. A few times, without question. For now, though, it would seem you and I have found purpose in Constellation. I believe that is enough. I am pleased that we have common cause and have enjoyed our time together. Thank you.
see my family again. Harbinger. Harbinger. Remember this. We are always. there what can I help you with time to push some cheese Can I have a pet? A pet? 
We live on a starship, Cora. Pets and starships don't always mix so well. Aw, come on, please. I need somebody to talk to while I'm on the ship by myself. <laughs> Give him an inch. We'll see, Gum Gum.
Understand me, hear my voice, but I do not know you. I hesitate to ask, but what manner of being are you? Do you truly serve his will? Yes, he works through you and built the path to guide you to me. I have reached out so many times to hear nothing but echoes. Yet you, an outsider, hear me plain. And for the first time, I hear you. Clearly your arrival here is fated. By stepping into this void, we are now linked. There is still reason to hope. The Great Serpent will see us through. But time is short. The bridge collapses. The gate is still open. The experiment still runs. Find me in the scaled citadel. I will wait for you there. Serpent speed be Yuri, tell me. What news do you have of an Asco? Then my vision did not betray me. Well, it would seem I owe you an apology, sister. There is no need, brother. Your skepticism only strengthens us. As you say. But, to the matter at hand, did an Asco mention anything that could aid us in his extraction? 
Yes, the pinnacle of the citadel was modified to house the equipment to create a gate to the vortex. If it still runs, that would explain everything we have experienced since the initial incident. It is much more than that. Normally, when I pray for Anasco's return, I sense he is lost, fading. But when I last prayed to the Great Serpent, I felt Anasco's presence clear and distinct. Even as it receded, I felt him anchored to this world. And you believe the Harbinger is this anchor? Yes. There are some who suggest that when Jinan communed with the Great Serpent, a similar bond had been established. I believe the same is true for you and Anasco. I would need time to attempt a scientific explanation for why or how this happened, but for now, let us assume my sister is correct. And that is the essence of faith. I do not know what lies ahead. My visions do not go beyond this point. But I do know this link would play a role. In fact, I am certain of it. Agreed. And with this settled, we can now continue the work of aligning the Noble Houses. Together, we will find a way to complete the Mourning Device. Do you see? Yes. Well, 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 that was a interesting episode here, guys. So, what do you guys think of the story so far? I don't know. It definitely does not feel like a DLC. I feel like this is a world that we should have already had. I, I do see where people see that, but I mean, for 30 bucks, I don't think it's worth it. Maybe $10, right? Um, obviously, I love this game in general. Like, this, I spent so much time in this game, right? But I'm liking it so far again if you love a game don't let anyone's bias or the opinions or reviews of anybody out there change what you think of the game just enjoy it you know so if you guys are enjoying this so far you guys know what to do liking this video will help my channel grow a lot i appreciate you guys for joining in on today's episode and without further ado this is red zone signing off keeping it real keeping it hot and keeping it raw your normal nine to five guy bringing you some high quality content for you guys to enjoy i'll see you guys in the next video deuces